Ooh, what's up everybody, and of course, welcome to another Pocket Top Picks. It's been a very long time since I've made one of these, and um, yeah, as the Top Picks will reveal, I'm going to talk about why Poison Types are bad. And I'm gonna just, before even the hate starts, it's not. Um, this one is more dedicated to what can make Poison Types more effective for the time being. I actually would state so far and say dual typing poison types are definitely one of the better combinations in the meta actually, if anything, but single poison types, I mean the likes of Muck, Weezing, Garbodor, are definitely one of the worst and they are probably gonna stay that way, they are definitely the mods that suffer the most. Uh, poison as a defensive typing is good against certain things such as fighting and of course uh, fairy. So you got a small boost in Iteration 6, which is actually clearly um, appreciated to consider that Poison Type from Generation 1 was definitely one of the worst typings ever. Uh, mostly because Psychic was just so powerful that it kind of transpired throughout the generations. Kind of changed in Generation 4, got definitely better Generation 5, and um, as Generation 6, a lot of Poison Types have gotten a lot better. Uh, the thing it lacks today, the thing I kind of want to talk about is uh, how effective as a poison type really can be. Um, as for the single poison type, like I mentioned, that are clearly a bit worse, um, there are really no saving redeeming quality for them outside of getting bulkier or getting just in general effective. Most of the worse poison types tend to be a bit on the slow side, which means that they are heavily hit by pretty clearly what usually are ground walls, uh, and, and you don't want that. I mean, the only uh, can believe the only good slower poison types I can think of are Dragology and I do believe Among Us. Uh, those two can deal with earthquakes or no, Dragology cannot. But clearly it has a punching power behind it so it kind of works and uh, obviously Dragon typing in general is not a bad defensive typing if anything. But um, that one takes a lot of chug of HP and look at the likes of uh, for Fury, of course Needle Queen and King. They have ground poison, which in theory made them one of the worst type of combinations ever, but they are inborn with a decent ability to combine, combine to them, and of course, the like of being faster, which means that they have the stab to hurt things a lot. And that's what I want to get into. The poison types that are really effective have good typing combinations. Um, Grape Young with, of course, uh, Dark and uh, Poison is a very, very good typing. Venusaur with Poison Grass. Not the best typing, but definitely better than a, than a Grass single typing. Think about that for a while. Um, then we have, of course, like Gengar, Haunter. They are effective dual typing. We got Crobat, which is a flying type. Works really well. It definitely nullifies the quaking on it. And then we got Toxic Croak, which with a pretty nasty speed behind it and being actually able to set up in combined with a you know, Vacuum Wave, uh, Sucker Punch. There is where the changes come, where what makes a poison type effective and in general just good. Uh, but what I want to see for single use poison types, or actually poison types in general, is actually better physical stabs, or at least uh, more physical poison types. Because as of today, the strongest poison type is actually Mega Beedrill, um, followed by actually Scallopy. That That's a base 100. There are very few um, physical sweeper that are really, well, I want to say, really good at base 100 as a physical sweeper. That usually is above average, it's not as effective. Scallopede, obviously, with speed boost, makes it a very, very effective mon. But that is definitely not a way to kind of redeem yourself with a, you know, base 100. It's, it's kind of bad. But it got the right stabs, and Poison Jab maybe not be the best attack overall. I do believe it's a very, very weak. I do believe it's 70 base power, or could it be even 80? Um, and then it doesn't get access to Gunshot, which probably would have helped it, but at the same time, we kind of need a move that is more like, um, well, Earthquake, or at least, you know, a knighted base attack. I kind of feel that that is kind of where things get off. Like, Poison Jab is a very weak overall attack. And uh, it is right now the safest physical attack. I don't mind, I should say this, I don't mind the special side of poison types. Gengar represents that really well. 
uh, Mega Venusaur works it really well, and of course Nido King with GF Force can represent that, but um, and also Victor Bell, I guess. Ugh, one of the worst actually. Slow one, slow one, bad. <laughs> Sadly, but uh, the physical side as of right now is actually only limited to Mega Beedrill, who is probably the one that are a prominent threat in uh, in UU as of right now. Also, it's somewhat effective in OU, I guess. But that's the only like heavy hitter, uh, and the combination with adaptability, it kind of it kind of get dangerous. Uh, like like it's, it had we need something more light at. Probably not as fragile. I feel like that's um that's what you trade it for. Like if you want a physical sweeper, you, you kind of have to trade it for insanely low bulk. Um, Scolipede is not really the most bulkiest mon either. It's bulky enough, but hardly bulky. Bulk it should have been bulkier. Uh, I do believe the likes of Grape you know, would have been a much more effective mon had it been a bit stronger. Maybe a bit faster too. Like 10 base extra in attack and speed would probably push it a bit further down because it actually has good access to a pretty good abilities and of course um, pretty good move pool. But it's, it's one of those really really weird setup mods that you simply can't push it beyond RU. It's a good typing. Uh, it's a very very good typing. I love myself a Drapion. But it just can't hold a ca candle to um, the higher power Pokemons in the higher tiers, sadly. Um, and that is something that is bothering me. And therefore I made this topic. It's, this is definitely a topic where I just ramble uh, and just talk about what I think would save poison types. But at the same time I also know there are extremely good, well-rounded poison types. Poison is not like grass and bug. Um, th they are having their sh share amount of power behind them but there's a single poison type so just having not having dual stab that are to be considered one of the worst pokemons overall actually and are limited they are clearly limited the likes of Weezing, for example which in on paper should have been one of the best mods ever are um, actually somewhat meh it's a very very average mod it's a defensive special attacker with not enough power uh, and not enough wolf to actually keep itself alive. So maybe the poison type got some kind of recovery move that would also work. And maybe solve the issue of not being completely walled out by steel types. Um, those are the things that I'm kind of juggling between. And I know this is not, the, like I said, the broadest concept video I've done ever. But this is just a thing that I've been thinking about far too long. I really want to just share these thoughts with you guys. What do you guys think about poison types? Do you guys believe that it's a ineffective typing to some extent or are you happy the way poison types works today or and if you are do tell me why uh, so with all that said i want to thank everybody for watching this episode of pocket topics next pocket topics will be a bit more obscure and probably something you all be waiting for when it's sun and moon related but i really just have to finish that script um don't wanna don't wanna do it half the ass like this one <laughs> But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Pocket Topics. Until then, take care.